Hey guys, it's Cannibal Cat, and I am here to just talk about random stuff because I have to film because that's my life. So, um, I'm getting so many notifications. Okay, so, first and foremost, if I talk like a retard during this video, it's because I got my tongue pierced like six days ago, and it is still not entirely healed, and I'm still getting used to it. So, that's a thing, which we will go further into in this vlog. Um, butter is here. I feel like my otter vlogs are like not as ottery as they used to be, so I just want to remind you guys that he is here and he loves you. So, I have scissors because I'm an idiot. If you can tell by the title of this video, I'm an idiot and other people are idiots and it's just, boy oh boy, my life's been weird. So, it all started when I was born. <laughs> not really. But, um, I figure I should go back a month, because this is when this fucking journey started. Um, as you know, I'm a connoisseur of trying to be light and pale in my foundation and my makeup routine, so the easiest route I have decided to take is to just get the lightest foundation color of Kat Von D, which is Light 41, not Light 42. Everyone you see on Instagram and stuff, everyone uses Light 42, because that's the one you can get Sephora. I want to go even lighter than that, so the only way to get that is either on Kat Von D's website or Sephora. So I went to Sephora, I'm going to say February 28th, I think, was when I first ordered this. Yeah, I'm going to go with that. Um, and so I was ordered, I ordered it, was super excited, I was like, sweet, I'm gonna get it. And I checked the tracking, and I was like, okay, it's in Ontario, that means it should get here tomorrow. And it was like, the tracking said, it's gonna be here tomorrow, right? And then it just sat in a warehouse for like a week, and I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> so, I like, complained to Sephora, this is like, okay, disclaimer, this is like a super like, uh, white privileged story, just like, first world problems, so I'm aware of that. So I was like, Sephora, what the fuck? I wanted my shit, why is it just in a warehouse? They refined me, I was like, okay, cool, but I still want my shit. Why do I still not have my shit? So, and I went online and I talked to like an actual representative and she refunded the shipping too and was like, it's okay if it's, you just reorder it. I'm like, okay, I guess I'll reorder it even though I shouldn't have, why, why? So I reordered it a little, maybe like three weeks ago, and I was like, okay, sweet, it's definitely gonna get here this time. And it was like, okay, it's in Ontario, it's gonna be here tomorrow. And it did the thing again, where the tracking like disappeared, and then it's like, oh, it's just sitting in a warehouse, sitting in a warehouse. I'm like, why is it sitting in a warehouse? So I angrily tweeted at Sephora, as one does, and I was like, Sephora, what the fuck? Why is this is the second time you've done this to me? Why are you like this? And they're like, hey, DM us your order number and we'll help you. So I did, and they're like, oh, well, it's it's because there's no street address. And I'm like, what the fuck? So apparently, I'm the idiot here. <laughs> Because whenever I entered my shipping address into Sephora, I forgot to include the street address, not just the number. So, of course, they couldn't deliver it to somewhere that doesn't exist. So, it's me who's the idiot. I'm the dumb one. I'm just... Why? So, it's finally here. It got here today. I'm like, thank fuck fucking Christ, because I just really wanted my foundation. That's all I wanted! I just wanted my foundation! So we're gonna open it, we're gonna look at it, because what else, what else am I supposed to do? Um, I, this has been an ordeal. I feel like I'm not even excited anymore. I'm like, good, I'm glad. Usually I'd be like, but at this point I'm just like, give me my shit, dude. I don't really care. I don't know what that means. Got my samples. My cute, my cute fucking samples. Okay, I, did I ask for a gimme brow? I don't think I did because I don't have brows, but that's okay. I got a gimme brow. And poor professional Matt Rescue because I hate my pores and I hate being oily. So, 
there it is. In all of its glory. Just, just, just my foundation. That's all I ordered. Was this foundation. It's so beautiful though. Not gonna lie. Really fucking pretty. Makes me happy to look at. If you could just focus. Yeah. Like 41, bitches. Okay, so. I'm gonna open it from the bottom. Would you look at that? That's a bottle of foundation, and if I ever saw one, I'm scared. It's so pretty. Okay, well, that's that. How the fuck? Oh, oh, oh. Okay, it has a little a little stopper thing. It's supposed to be like a wax like stamp, I think. That's pretty cool. Um. So there's that. Um, also, in accordance to my life, it's just not making sense. So I got this done on Wednesday, right? And like, the first couple days I was like, eh. I'm gonna also make a separate video on my piercings and the experiences that I've had with them because it's, I figure it was interesting. Um, so I got it right, and let me just say... The healing process is like no other. I've never experienced a piercing that has brought me such inconvenience and pain as this one has. But, so it was like healing, you know, whatever. But it started to like embed really badly. Like to where, like one night, I was like, if I sleep with this, I'm going to wake up and it's going to be disappeared into my tongue. So, me and Jordan were like panicking. We're like, what are we, sp what is... What do we do? Like, uh, he's like, you should take it out. I'm like, I'm not fucking taking it out, dude. Like, I paid $45 for this. I'm keeping it. Um, and so here's what we did. <laughs> Which is not advisable to anyone. Um, since it was a bedding, and normally, if that happens, go back to your piercer. Just, just go. If you can't, then maybe you'll have to do something like this. Because my piercer is, like, you know fucking 70 miles away and also this was like 10 o'clock at night or some shit so you should usually you know be more aware of what's going on with your mouth but I didn't fucking know what's going on um so what we did is we struggled to unscrew it from my mouth we had to get like fucking pliers so that I could hold it and unscrew it. drool everywhere just a puddle of drool and I'm almost not exaggerating it was just just so much. I look like a dog. Like a rabid dog. And so I I had to like take it out. So what we did to prevent it from going into my tongue that night is we took like a little you know mechanical pencils that have a little eraser on top that you can like take out. We took one of those, you know, sanitized it, cut it in half, and then stuck it on the top of the bar so that it, there's no way that's going in my tongue. So uh, yeah, you want to know why that happened? The bar my tongue was pierced with was smaller than the bar they pierced my nipples with. This is the same place. So, it was like, just so small, no room for swelling. So, that was really fucked up. <laughs> and I'm like, kind of pissed, but at the same time, just, I don't care. It's going to heal fine now, because I went, you know, the next day and I got this bar, which is really fucking big. <laughs> So, that's a thing. And just, what is life? Besides that, um, I don't know, man. Did you enjoy my story time rants of whatever? Um, I got a really cute purse. Let me show it to you guys. So, if you follow me on Snapchat, which you should, you'd have already seen this, but I got, um, a coffin purse made by Creepsville666, um, Usually they go for like 50 to 60 dollars, I think, when you get them new. But of course, I thrifted it and got it for 28. And I had to add more chains because that's just what I do. I have to make things as edgy as possible. And it's super duper cute and I love it to death. Um, <sighs> besides that, I cut my hair a little bit yesterday just so I can get like more of the side fringy stuff because. I'm an emo kid. I can't help it. Like, I... You know, you just gotta do what you gotta do. 
I kind of, I don't know, I have so many opinions on subcultures and the way people present themselves and the interests people have and I can't put it all into words ever eloquently. So if you ever want to have a discussion about what goth and emo and punk and what it means to be this or that, just just message me somewhere. We can talk about it. Because personally, I'm one of those people who I really hate labels because one label does not really summarize you as a person and it can't. And I feel like the more a label summarizes you, the less, like, I just, I hate it. If you're like, I'm the epitome of goth, I'm goth as shit, dude, I'm so fucking edgy, nobody will be as goth as me, I probably don't want to talk to you because you're probably actually really boring, and I'm not about that life, so, that's one of the things that I'm very passionate about, is not fitting into a box, and I'm tired of people putting people in boxes, and just, it's really boring. It's really boring, because like, 80% of the people on Instagram who are like, you know, the goth gurus who are like super popular, they all look exactly the same and they all have the same fucking interests and they all do exactly the same shit with their face. I'm just like, bored. So, um, besides that, oh, I'm going to see Carnifex and Rings of Saturn and Volusia on. April 2nd, if you're going to that show, I'll see you there. Um, I'm also seeing Devin Townsend on the 28th. I am so excited, dude. Like, oh my god. I can't even explain to you how excited I am to see Devin Townsend. I love that man to fucking death. He's like, way up there on my list of people that I love as far as music goes. So, I'm excited. Um... I think that's about it. I don't want to make this much longer than it already is. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. Enjoyed. Enjoyed this vlog. I hope you enjoyed listening to me talk at a fucking dumbass because my tongue is just all fucked up. Um, it's healing fine now though. I think it's gonna be good. I'll be able to talk properly in a few days. Um, uh, I do like it a lot. I do. Um, I will make a piercing video soon and you'll be able to hear all my thoughts and whatever about life and piercings and plans and not plans so uh this is butter the otter bidding you farewell i think he's a river otter he should be i don't know yeah he's a river otter he'd be he'd be a lot lighter in color around the whiskers if he was a sea otter so i will see you on the next vlog my beautiful people um if you like this video if you like my face if you want to get more of my stupid face in your YouTube feed, hit the button, dab in my face, and you'll get more of it. Funny how that works, right? Um, if that's not enough, you can add me or follow me or like me on Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, and or Snapchat at CannibalCatX, one word. I'll see you there. If not, that's cool too. You can watch me here alone. That's fine. That's good. This is a good platform. <laughs> I love you guys so much. Bye.